right, so trumpets. We're going to talk about uh, the different parts of the trumpet and kind of how they work a little bit. So we're going to start with just leaving it in our case like this. Um, when you're pointing at stuff, I want you to kind of point with me with the video, okay? So this is the bell, okay? It's the big conical spot or shape at the end of the trumpet where all the sound comes out. Okay, it's kind of like a cone. The bell is here, okay? Then you have the next important part, which is the mouthpiece receiver. It's where the mouthpiece goes in, okay? It's an actual hole, mouthpiece goes in there, and this receives the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece receiver is connected to the lead pipe, which is this pipe right here. Go ahead and touch that. Make sure you kind of know what that looks like. Okay, lead pipe. Then it's connected to the main tuning slide, which is this big slide right here, okay? Uh, I don't think this one comes out, but oh, there it goes. It does move a little bit, okay? Main tuning slide is what it's called. Okay, the next thing you have, I'm gonna take it out real quick, turn it around. I don't want you to do this, but I'm just kinda of gonna kinda of show you. You have your valves, okay? So your valves go up and down here. These are piston valves, what they're called. But you need to know that there's numbers to them, okay? Your first valve is gonna be the closest one to the mouthpiece receiver. So this is number one, okay? This is number two, this is number three. You can always tell by first valve slides closest to the mouthpiece receiver, okay? So, first valve, second valve, third valve. Now, you also have valve slides that correspond with these valves, and they're located right here. This is the valve casing, and these valve slides go into the valve casings, okay? So, this is your first valve slide, all right? First valve, first valve slide, okay? See the difference? Second valve, second valve slide, this little bitty one. Then third valve, and the third valve slide is back here in the back, okay? And it kind of moves out like that. Now, on these valve slides, you have some little rings. This is your third valve ring, okay? And this is your thumb saddle. And we'll talk about where your fingers go a little bit later, but these are just kind of what they're called. Thumb saddle, third valve ring, okay? You have another ring up here. This is called a pinky perch is what I call it, okay? Or your pinky ring, whatever you want to call it. But I call it pinky perch because your pinky perch is on top of there. Next thing you have, you have these little water valves. They move like this, okay? And the water comes out. Condensation forms in there, and you have to empty your water sometimes. Okay, so those are the main parts of the instrument. Let's review it again real quick. Mouthpiece receiver, connected to the lead pipe here, connected to the main tuning slide, this big slide, all right? Then you have your valves. First valve, second valve, third valve, okay? Your first valve is connected to the first valve slide. Second valve connected to the second valve slide. Third valve connected to the third valve slide back here, behind. And then you have thumb saddle, third valve ring, pinky perch, and your bell. And that's pretty much it. Those are your main parts of your trumpet.